week since the explosion of an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico, BP says it's let people down in its efforts to contain the disaster. Oil is still pouring into the sea and tonight the company is going ahead with a new technique to stop the flow. From Washington, Adam Brooks reports. Disaster as it happens. This is the live video feed of the oil leak. President Obama has insisted the public see it. Soon, we're told, this live feed will show the latest attempt by BP to plug the leak. Five previous attempts have failed. This time, BP will pump mud at very high pressure into the damaged well on the seabed. It's called top kill. The hope is the mud will block up the pipework and choke off the flow of oil. Divers have filmed the slick below the ocean surface. Great clouds of oil droplets clog the water. It's those little oil droplets that, um, that can impact fish gills, that can coat organisms, that some of the base of our food chain, the zooplankton, will, will see these little droplets as food. And that oil is now reaching the beaches too. The head of BP, Tony Hayward, is under massive pressure. America's angry at him and his company. Will BP be able to plug the leak using Topkill? We rate the probability of success of somewhere between 60 and 70%. And Mr. Haywood has admitted that a series of failures occurred before the explosion on the Deepwater Horizon rig last month. The president in San Francisco last night, he has told his staff to plug the damn hole. Each day brings angry questions about how well he's handling the crisis, some from powerful Democrats. Listen to this. It just looks like he's not involved in this, man. You got to get down here and take control of this, put somebody in charge of this thing and get this thing moving. We're about to die down here. Hanging over the White House is the ghost of Hurricane Katrina and the memory of how much damage that did to President Bush. Now, we're not there yet. Americans aren't blaming President Obama for this disaster, but these are dangerous moments for the president. Adam Brooks, BBC News, Washington.